Hi there, welcome to the Miria Vahala Art Studio where inspiring minds meet. My name is Miria and today I'd like to talk about um, signing your painting. Your signature on your painting is somewhat like a logo and I think it's worthwhile to take some time and play around with designing it and choosing what that might look like. Some artists will use cursive writing. Um, I chose to use block letters and I played around a little bit with the R and the J in my name and connected those letters up and instead of having cross lines across the capital letter A, I put little dots in there just to be a little more playful. You can look at the whatever your name happens to be and decide if you want to do uppercase, lowercase or cursive. The only thing about cursive is I did hear that they're no longer teaching cursive writing in school and so that might be um, unreadable to people in the future. Another thing to consider when signing your painting is whether to just use your last name or both your first and last name or to have an initial with your last name. For myself on big paintings I will use my first and last name, you know, painting this size I will definitely do that. But when it's a small painting like this one, sometimes the signature becomes uh, too uh, um, uh, big looking on a painting, so I will just put my last name on a small piece. Another consideration to make when you're placing your signature is you don't want to detract from the design of your painting by where you place your signature and also in the color and size that you use. Um, I, I prefer to have my signature to be a little bit subtle, not to be too in your face kind of idea. Um, for instance, on this painting here, I signed it down here and you can't, you don't notice it right away. It's because I painted it with white paint and then I glazed a little bit of the color that I used, the pink color that I used in the bear painting. And it makes it just sit back a little bit more into, into the work. When deciding where to put your signature, think about the design of your piece. You know, it might work better on one side or the other, or perhaps um, going vertically on one of these sides as well. I've seen that done quite successfully in some paintings. And on some of the old historical paintings, I've even seen signatures done at the top of the painting in cursive writing, but blending in quite nicely. When signing my painting, I like to use a round brush that has a really good tip on it. And I add quite a bit of, uh, I mainly paint in acrylics and I add quite a bit of medium to the paint to give it better flow when I'm doing my signature. Um, if you're an oil painter, you could use um, a brush to sign or while the paint is wet, you could use a color shaper with these little rubber end and you can actually scratch out some paint um, to create your signature showing the color underneath. This is a little rubber tipped idea. And other kind of brush that you can use um, is these long uh, liner or rigger brushes. It has a longer tip on it and you can load it with some um, flowy paint and sign that way. So if you have a more of a cursive type or more playful uh, type of signature than mine. Besides signing um, the front of your canvas, you might want to sign or you actually the galleries would like you to sign the back of your painting uh, with a pencil if you're using canvas along with the title of your piece. Um, I also add uh, my website um, address in there so that people can easily find me and um, I'll tuck in a business card. Uh, some people do um, certificates of authentication. You could put those behind your painting as well. Also when signing your painting you want to think about whether you're going to frame this piece or not and what type of frame you're going to use. So on a front loading frame such as this one, it's, it's not an issue for um, you know, a covering up uh, the signature. But if you're using a uh, front loading frame, um, so you're using a canvas like that, and this little white trim I've showed you here is how much a frame can actually cut off on your painting. So if you put your signature too low, um, it might get uh, cropped off when you take a front loading, uh, back loading frame and, and slide it in because you do lose quite a bit of that edge. Thanks so much for watching the video and if you like it, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.